are you doing? Welcome to the old H&S. Hey, <laughs> wasn't sure what to do this week. Um, so I, I got blah, 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 take two. I bought some belly pork without the rind. Um, bit of an offer on in Tesco. And I thought, what should I do? I fancied a curry, but I didn't want a sort of traditional curry. So I thought, I don't know what I'll do. And what I did was I roasted, par roasted the belly pork till it got some colour. And I made a base curry then, onion, fried some onion in olive oil. Um, I put some, what did I put in it? Onion. Um, all the spices, cumin, coriander, ginger, turmeric, garam masala, fenugreek, curry powder hot, chilli powder hot. Then I put four cloves of garlic, four scotch bonnets, that's all my chilies gone now, in my little blender. Put the chilies and garlic in there, blended that, added that, added some water, made a nice thick sauce, let that simmer. Then cut the belly pork into bite sized pieces added that to the curry sauce and then let it simmer for about 20 minutes and that's the result there thank you you see that now belly pork is tasty in a curry watch some good kick to that oh that's nice Four chilies, seeds and all, hot curry powder and hot chili powder. May blow my mind, I don't know. Beautiful, look at that. You get a few bits of crunchy bits in it. So it's quite a meaty curry. We got some chips made with Albert Bartlett, is it? Or Bartlett, Albert Bartlett potatoes. Salt and vinegar, of course. Mm. And this is just a, a garlic uh, sort of pizza flatbread. Give it a piece there. So how's it going? How's the week been? Mm. And the best of it is, this is only half, there's another one cooling off downstairs. I'll put that when it's cold into a jar in the fridge. It'll marinate for a day, maybe till Monday. That heat is absolutely beautiful, but not just heat, the taste. And the reason I say that belly pork, it has a bit of fat in it, but fat is taste and that renders as you cook. Tender. I would have to write a recipe book. Damn, a joke. Right, I was asked, do you possess such things as pint glasses? Yes, I do. I've shown one before. So today, that's for you. Pint glass. Ice cold, see that? Cheers. Oh. oh, it's one of them moments where I don't want to be anywhere else in the world. You can stick your Caribbean. <laughs> That's beautiful. Oh, and that burn. Life's good, baby. <laughs> so this is a type of, what would you, not rustic, but yeah, rustic, meaty curry. Very meaty. Lots of meat. And lots of heat. Right. Warm in here now, 28 degrees C. Oh. And I'm adding to it. 
and I'm going to share a moment with you in a minute, very special moment. As you know, I've grown my own chilies. Now, I stripped all the leaves off. New ones have grown back and flowers again. So I could have a lot more chilies on this plant. But the aphids are back in abundance. And I'm sick of fighting them. So, I'm not going to grow any more. That's it for the chilli plant. I'm going to keep it for a while. Maybe see... Um, I'll see how it goes. I might keep it and see if it does produce any more. If I can control them, I just put a hose pipe on them outside, and then just keep an eye. You know, but they they soon come back. Bad year this year for them, which is strange because they they're inside the conservatory. So I, that's weird. Tomatoes, oh loads, and my first. It's only small. My first tomato is ripe, and I thought I'd share this moment with you. Could we have a, could we have a national anthem, please? And probably, I would play the Welsh national anthem, but I'll get copyrighted for that one. Weird, isn't it? So I'll have to play the British one, or a bit of it. Thank you. too quick <laughs> I don't care what anybody says you can have organic tomatoes from the supermarket anything you will not recreate that taste of homegrown don't know what it is it's sweet uh, and it's just I love the scent of tomato plants I know if you touch them beautiful scent absolutely so that's the first tomato of the year I'm doing really well, very happy with, even though the aphids, but I've, I've had a crop of um, chilies and I'm enjoying them now. Homemade curry, again. Not from a jar. Help yourself. Beautiful. Oh, I was going to say, can start complaining, I better not. That's Mrs. H doing the lawn. <laughs> it's terrible, isn't it? I'm up here scoffing, having a chat and drinking beer. Carlin, oh, she's having a show, isn't she? Um, and she's out there slogging away. <laughs> yeah. You wanted equal opportunities, you've got it, baby. Joke before I <laughs> get done for being sexist. No, she enjoys them cutting the lawns, and I'm not going to stand there arguing or fighting to do it. I did them funny enough, I cut them last time. Um, it was nice. Come on. Mm. Quite big chilies these as well. I was on the mind till I do two or three chilies. I thought stuff it, put the four in. And that's just right for me. Four chilies, garlic's nice, four cloves of garlic, um, all the spices, the hot curry powder and the hot chilli powder, that is nice, it's not, it's not blowing my head off, but I know I'm having a kick of heat from this curry, and that's what I like, and the meat, cook this slow in the oven, as I say, till it turned colour, and I let it rest for a minute, Chopped it up into the curry. 
20 minutes simmer down the old grub tunnel. Belly pork curry. Maybe not too many people doing that. Got to be done. Oh, I'm wearing this uh, chili shirt just to celebrate my own chilies and chili. Absolutely beautiful. Did you say you're going out? In? More? I'm hungry as well. <laughs> I saved myself all day. Mm. Been a warm day today. Quite humid. It's meant to change tonight, I think. Overnight, and then is it showery or cloudy or cool or something tomorrow? Oh no, it might feel muggy tonight. You're not wrong there. Feel muggy. Yeah. Tell you what, we'll do a test. I've got a fan here, which is usually on, but I'm filming now. I'm going to put it on, see, for me to see when I edit this, what it sounds like. And for you to... <laughs> Lawnmowers, fans and everything, so it's going to see whether it picks it, it'll pick it up, but... Uh... Oof, that's nice. But it's quite loud, isn't it? Yeah, I couldn't do a vlog with this going. Give me five minutes away. That's nice. Okay. That'll do it. Well, it's the National Ice Dead Vod. Um, starting today and next week in the town of Llanroost. Yeah. Am I going? I doubt I'm working. Uh, but I was talking to somebody who's taking their daughter, no, their granddaughter there, because she's working there. And um, they said that there's a caravan, the place, the fields where people stay in their caravan, so they open it up. Everybody brings their caravan or trailer, I think you call it in the state. So they'll sleep in them. Um, and he said, absolutely huge. It's a, it's a, the whole of Wales. You know, it's a very important thing. Instead of singing, it's like competitions. Um, well, performing in the Wel Welsh arts and singing, um, what they call it, um, reciting that sort of thing. Um, and it's a get together, isn't it? It's good for the town. It's only a small town now. I was thinking, it'd be a nightmare to be a postman there next week. <laughs> the traffic everywhere. But, um, yeah, it'd be a good event, I hope. If you anybody's going that's watching this, I hope you enjoy yourself. It's, it's um, a very important thing for Wales. Hmm. Mm. This is lovely. Belly pot. Try it. We don't often hear of pork curry, do you? But if you like pork, I love it. Um, try it. belly pork, though. a bit of fat in it. You gotta have that, and it'll be nice and tasty, tender. Oh. Talking of pork, I'm having pork chops tomorrow with some Blasseteer Pembrokeshire new potatoes, um, sprouts. Thank you. Runner beans. Uh, yeah, and Lashento's a gravy. 
and now if you've watched my video you'll see how I do it quite simple isn't it simple but effective Like I said this, tomorrow, or whenever, tomorrow or Monday, the second lot there, after marinating like this, oh, mm. wow, that is, I hate there. Uh, Any chilly heads out there will know what I mean. Beautiful. Oh, got the battery flashing. Is that a signal? Is it a go? Here we go. Right, tell me now, is it the same where you live, wherever you are in the, in the world? Say on a Sunday morning. Say for example, you cut your lawn, right? Start the lawn up. Or next door to you cuts their lawn. And then all of a sudden, within an hour or so, deal, hits a minute, you'll hear up and down around the area other lawn was starting up. <laughs> so it must be like um you know if somebody yawns it can start somebody else off yawning. So if you see somebody yawning and then you're everybody's yawning, it's like a reaction. <laughs> the same with lawnmowers. You'll hear one like this now, you'll hear one in a minute. Somebody else will start, oh it's an idea, I think I'll cut mine. Well it might be a British thing, I don't know. Anyway, talking rubbish. This it was a great success. Another curry. Belly pork. Scotch bonnet curry. That bread's nice. It's um that's a Tesco and it's a garlic pizza flatbread. The best one was assembled. And what do they do? Take it away. I know Chris has wrote to them, haven't you? Anything you buy regular or anything goes well, they say, I ah, will stop that to push other stuff. Come on, Tesco. I know certain people, you know, yeah, you know, popular stuff. Because I won't buy, well, I bought this, yeah, but I will not buy what you put in this place. Out of spite. So get them back. Corn on the cob for Chris. And bloody sun blushed for me, thanks. <laughs> anyway, hope you're having a great weekend. Saturday night, if you're going out, being out, whatever you're doing, stay safe and have a good bit of fun if you can. Um, and what else is there? That's it. That is a success of whistling. I'm going to finish that. Finish the chips, not many left there now. And then um, just relax for the evening. A few more of these, Carlin's. And uh, I'll see you in the morning on the other channel. If you're on there, um, shave. Got a standard shave tomorrow. Uh, nice, relaxed type shave, isn't it? I like them. Um, pint of lager gun. Well, just under it was, because it wasn't quite at the top. And um, yeah, see you in the next video, whenever that is. And don't worry, I'm not doing a Sunday dinner video. Somebody said, oh, you should do it. What did they say? You should do more of them or something. You should feature something. Anyway, many thanks. Glad you enjoyed it. Um, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. All the best. Beautiful. Good.